What's up, YouTube? This is Quimbo, and I'm back. For this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of my very first camera, because I'm gonna start vlogging now. That's one of my many type of videos I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing all sorts of type of videos. I'll explain that in the other, in the next video. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my unboxing of the camera, my first vlogging camera, which is the Canon M50. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go ahead and uh, start it here. I just got it today, literally today. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. got the box open I was using my keys I don't have a knife cutter yet I'm a uh, I'm working on it working on it All right. box. I got this for a really good deal <clears throat> I bought it on I have bought it on eBay um, and for 650 I got the Canon M50 the lens that comes with it um, and a bunch of other accessories, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you. And we started right here, basically, I'm gonna tell you everything that came with the camera. Just give me a second, I'll go ahead and show you that I got the video. Here's everything. with the camera I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like go ahead and show you little by little so first things that came with it is a camera bag from digital visions you guys can see it's a nice bag my first camera bag hmm. figured you're gonna spend 650 and Best Buy is how much you can get that for but just the camera with the lens. You might as well, you know, trying to find your best, you know, the best deal you can get. And with eBay, I bought it with a two year um, warranty or protection plan. In case something happens, I'm covered. Um, so I got the camera bag right there. It came with this 49 mill millimeter telephoto, telephoto lens from Vitar. Go ahead and show you that. Next thing I got is a 0 0.43 times professional wide angle lens with macro. It's a 49 millimeter wide angle. Go ahead and show you that as well. Next, I got me a 50 inch tripod. So now I don't have to worry about going to buy one. I mean, I might still get the Gorilla tripod just cause um, the one that I got here doesn't look like the best, like for like handheld wise, doesn't look like the best tripod. So I might get a, a Gorilla tripod down the line, but for right now, at least I got two. So it, it'll work. <laughs> got 50 inch, go ahead and show you that. <laughs> All right, next. Let me see what this is. I think I know what this is. Make sure. This is a digital camera flash right here oh it's not I got a digital camera flash so that's cool for I guess photography uh, photography purposes I'm mostly gonna be using the camera for vlog I mean I'm pretty sure I'll take for pictures here and there but for the most part it's gonna be vlogging so I mean I, I I'm pretty sure I'll put it to use and I got this other tripod right here 
but it's a total, it's right here in the back it says, it's from Vivitar. It's a digital camera accessory kit. It comes with one screen cleaning fluid, one microfiber cleaning cloth, a mini flexible tripod, two universal screen protectors, one six slot SD slash micro SD card wallet, and five cotton swabs. swabs. I'm going to show you that. And I got me a 32 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra SDH USH UHSI card. I like, can't speak barely today, I guess. <laughs> but that's cool. I can imagine everything just individually buying it. If I would have bought it at Best Buy, it would have been like, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> so I'm glad I bought this on, uh, you know, I got a good deal for it, so. I got also a Vivitar SD micro SD uh, USB reader. This is definitely gonna come in handy. Also, I got me a Pro Series HD digital ultraviolet filter. So that's definitely gonna be put to uh, good use. Like I said, this is my first vlogging camera. So I'm new to the vlogging camera. I'm, I'm probably like a lot of YouTubers, like a lot of you YouTubers out there who are like probably wondering, you know, what's the best camera to get for vlogging. And I've been looking around. I looked at the Sony A5100, the, the, the 6400 is nice, but that's about almost a thousand dollars. And if you're kind of like me, that's like on a budget and you want to spend like, I don't know, no more than like 700. I bought all this with the warranty for 700 on eBay. So, you know, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And if you're, if you're going on a more lower budget, I would probably get like a, I'd probably look or just look around, really. That's all you can really do. Um, for the price range, if you're trying to go for like, let's say, I don't know, 500 bucks, you could probably get yourself a Canon G7X Mark II or the Sony A5100, which are, they all got, you know, every camera has their, you know, pros and cons. I just like, when I saw a lot of reviews on this one, the Canon M50, I was like, well, uh, I saw a lot of reviews and like what's good and what's bad, but what's capable of potentially doing. So I was like, might as well start with this off. So as time progresses and, you know, as I get better and my budget increases, then I'll look into the more bigger, and better ones but for now this will do i also got me a I'm trying to find out what exactly this one is this one is a 49 millimeter hard tuplet shaped lens hood i hope i said that i hope this is exactly what i meant when i said that i think it is if i said it wrong please correct me below in the comments like i said this is my like literally my first camera into blogging and I'm just trying to start off on the right foot, I guess. Also, if you, any of you guys or gals know what a good uh, laptop is for editing purposes, just for video editing purposes, um, please comment below. I'm always like, I've been kind of interested in looking for some because the laptop I have currently is not really good for editing. I, I know because I'm Previously, uh, um, a lot of my other videos, I did a lot of gaming videos and just editing and all that just took forever to render the videos and all that. So I usually have to use my desktop, but if you guys have any recommendations on laptops for that are good for editing purposes, please comment below. I also got myself a little, um, I want to say a little, uh, no, oh, wow. I don't even know what this is. Basically, like, I guess, like, to put on your hands. I don't know the proper term right now, but I'm pretty sure you guys kind of get the gist of it. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> before I get to the camera, we got one last final accessory that came with, which is a Pro Series HD three-piece digital filter set. So now I got three more other filters, other than the UV one that you previously saw. And 
what you all been waiting for. Boom. The Canon M50. Comes with the lens. I got it because it records up to 4K. Now I did, re when I read there a lot of reviews about it and seen it, they said that, um, cause this camera has dual autofocus, but they said when it comes to 4K that it doesn't have dual autofocus. So it just becomes regular autofocus. So, I mean, it's okay. At least it still records in 4K. To be honest, I'm just gonna mostly basically be recording 1080p. And I don't think that there's a lot of, there's not really everybody out there that has, can be able to watch 4K videos. If you can, and you know, cool, good for you. But for the majority, you know, 1080p will do just fine. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. For the thing, with my tax refund, I was able to get me my first vlogging camera. How about it? <laughs> All right, cool. Got to sell some uh, Japanese letters, Chinese. I want to learn how to speak Japanese, but right now I don't know, so I'll figure this out. English version for now. <laughs> I got the user manual. Comes with it. Let's see what else. I guess we got your power cable. Get your battery. What else do we have here? Yes, we have here. We got the lens right here. Oh, it's in, it's in, so. Oh, small. Hmm. It's funny because yesterday I was literally at Best Buy with my girlfriend. And we were looking at all the cameras that they have. And this was the one. It just, I don't know. If this isn't the lens, then somebody please tell me what it is. <laughs> I have a feeling it is. I'm just tripping right now. All right. We got a strap for it. Cannon. By the way, I'm not sponsored by nobody, obviously. I don't have the views or subscribers to be able to be sponsored. But maybe down the line, if they're watching this, What's up? Hook me up. <laughs> but for now, no, I bought this out of pocket. Straight up, like I, I, when my tax refund hit, I was like, I want to get back to YouTube and I want to do vlogging. So this was the camera that I bought with my own money. So yeah, you gotta start somewhere, I guess. Oh, the Canon M50. I bought this one because a lot of things. First, obviously, if you guys don't already know, you can flip the screen. That way you can be able to see yourself while you're vlogging and make sure that you're in focus. Um, and you can adjust, so I might have to work with all the settings and everything for now. But other than the fact that it can record the 4K, has a dual auto focus, up to the 1080p, which is majority of my videos are going to be recorded in 1080p, like I said. Um, I thought it was the best um, best bet. But if I, would, if I didn't get this one, honestly, I was really thinking about the Canon G7X. But the fact that it has, like, the screen also can be flipped. Um, you can add interchangeable lenses. Um, and it also has some mic input. Versus just having to deal with the mic of itself on the Canon G7X as external. You can, I mean, internal. Now you can have an external mic. Um, which also brings my point if any of you guys 
ladies and gents know of any good microphones. I know a lot of people or a lot of re microphones I read were about the Rode ones. Um, kind of on the budget. I'm trying to see like something that's like budget friendly. So I'm, I've seen the Signia one version, but I heard a lot of people say it's not. It's very, uh, very crappy <laughs> to put in into simple terms. So I was thinking about going with the Rode uh, Video Micro, Micro or the Video Rode Video Micro Go. Um, so not sure yet, but th that's kind of like where I'm trying to be price range. Later on down the line, when I um, I'll probably get me something a lot better, like the Video Mic, uh, the Rode Video Mic Pro or something. But for now, I'm just kind of looking for that. Uh, I don't know how the uh, external microphones i mean internal microphone sorry sounds like on uh, the canon m50 so on the next video i'm gonna go ahead and do it on the canon m50 and i'll go ahead and basically just do sound um recording uh how the audio sounds versus like just being able to use it itself versus getting a microphone so yeah be on the lookout for that also before i end this video We got ourselves a battery charger. Forgot to take it out of the box. But I figured the majority of people obviously just want to see the camera. But there you go. That have that's basically everything that came. For 650, it's not bad. You know, basically you'd be spending that alone with just the camera and the lens if you get it at Best Buy. And you know, with tax taxes and all, depending where you live. I live in Florida, so you guys didn't know taxes used to be seven percent but now it went up to 8.5 so yeah let that speak for itself <laughs> um but yeah but with everything being included go ahead and show you guys the canon m50 you got yourself a battery charger the battery a micro sd card you know a strap micro usb reader a few a couple of lenses the lens hood uh, the accessories kit, uh, flash, the tripod, the uh, lens itself, filters, it's a pretty good deal. And the camera bag, of course, which I'll go ahead and bring you in. So yeah, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more future videos, which will be coming very, very soon. Um, I'm going to just try and do videos on a weekly basis, but who knows? Um, pretty much starting like to today's Friday, I'm probably going to try to throw in another couple of other videos into to kind of just get started and get in the groove of, you know, being back on YouTube. And yeah, I just want to, I want to make things. I want to switch things up than I was before because when I first started it was just gaming videos or like uh, graphics contests and stuff like that I'll probably have those later on too and I still gonna do gaming but for the majority I'm gonna do it like blogging live videos cars everything I'm a big car fan I'm, I'm, I'm a real car fanatic especially when it comes to them imports Nissan specifically so yeah just be on the lookout for many many more videos so if you guys want to see more videos from me please click that thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll keep you guys in tune so yeah thank you guys for watching my video this is Quimbo and I'm out